This video explains how to group, buy, and summarize data sets using the dplyr package in our programming. I have seen many people struggling with this topic and for that reason I have prepared some simplified examples that illustrate this topic quite well. So without further ado, let's jump into it. The so very first step we need to install and load the dplyr package as you can see in lines 2 and 3 of the code. I have installed the package already, so for that reason I'm just going to load it with line 3. And after running this line of code, all the functions of the dplyr package are available in our current RStudio session. In this video we will use the empty cars dataset which is already provided by the basic installation of our programming and we can load it using the data function as you can see in line 5 of the code. And after running this line of code you can see our dataset appearing at the top right of our studio. We can also print the dataset as you can see in line 6. So after running this line of code, you can see that the data is appearing at the bottom in the RStudio console. We can also click on the empty cars data set at the top right of RStudio, and then you can see the structure of our data set in a new window. And as you can see, this data set contains different cars in the different rows of the data set, and it also contains certain information about these cars, such as the miles per gallon, the number of cylinders, the gear, and so on. So in this case, I want to show you how to use the functions of the dplyr package, namely group by and summarize, to create grouped statistics of our data. And in this example, we are interested in grouping our data based on the cylinder column, and we want to calculate the mean of the miles per gallon by the different cylinder numbers. And for this, we can use the code that you can see in lines 8 to 10. So first, we have to specify the name of our data set. So in this case, our data set is called empty cars. And then in the next step, we have to apply the pipe operator. So the pipe operator can always be used to apply a function to a certain data set and then apply another function to the output of this and so on. So in this case, you can see that we apply the group by function to the previous step of the pipe, so to the empty cars data set, and then afterwards we apply the summarize function to the output of this by specifying another pipe operator. However, in this case, within the group by function, we also need to specify based on which column we want to group. So in this case, we want to group based on the cylinder column. And then we want to summarize our data, or in other words, calculate certain summary statistics using the summarize function. And in this specific example, we want to know the mean value by the groups of cylinder for the column MPG. And then we want to store the output of this in a new column in our output, which is called mean MPG. So after running these lines of code, you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console that a new output is returned. This output shows the different numbers of cylinders that are available, so our different groups. In this case, we have three groups. We have either four cylinders, six or eight cylinders. And then you can see the mean numbers of miles per gallon that are needed for the different cylinder groups. So in this case, you can see that with eight cylinders, we have less miles per gallon than with four cylinders. So in this first example, I have explained how to calculate one summary statistic, in this case, the mean for the miles per gallon. However, it's also possible to extend this code to calculate multiple summary statistics. And this is what I want to show you in the next example in lines 12 to 16. So in this case, we use exactly the same code as in the previous example up to this part of the code. However, then afterwards, we specify multiple summary statistics that we want to calculate. So first, we once again specify the mean of MPG, as you can see in line 15 of the code. So this is still the same as in line 10. However, then we specify a comma 
And afterwards, we specify another summary statistic that we want to calculate. So in this case, the maximum value by group. And we want to store the output of this in another column that we call max mpg. So after running these lines of code, you can see that another output is returned. This part of the output, the first and the second columns, are exactly the same as in our previous example. However, this time we have added another column to our output, which is called max mpg. And this column contains the maximum values by group. And once again, you can see that the maximum value for four cylinders is higher compared to eight cylinders. Now, if you wanted to calculate even further summary statistics using the summarize function, then you could add another comma and another calculation below this code. Now, until this point of the video, we have calculated grouped statistics based on one grouping column, more precisely based on the cylinder groups. However, we can also use multiple columns to group our data. And this is what I want to show you in the next example in lines 18 to 20 of the code. So once again, we specify the empty cars data set, a pipe operator, the group by function. And then within the group by function, we specify multiple columns to group our data based on multiple columns. And in this case, we want to group our data once again based on the cylinder column. However, in addition to that, we also want to create groups based on the gear column. And for that reason, we specify a comma and another column name within the group by function. And then in line 20 of the code, we have basically exactly the same syntax as in line 10. So we specify that we want to summarize or create summary statistics for our data using the mean function. And we want to calculate the mean of the miles per gallon. And we want to store this in a column called mean mpg. So if you run these lines of code, you can see that another output is returned. And as you can see in this case, the output has more rows because in the first and the second column, we have the different combinations of cylinder and gear. So as you can see, we have three rows for four cylinders, three rows for six cylinders, and two rows for eight cylinders. And then these rows are combined with three, four, and five gear. The reason why we have only two rows for eight cylinders is that we do not have a combination of eight cylinders and four gear. And then you can see on the right side in the last column of this output that the values, the mean values of these subgroups are shown. So as you can see, for example, in the group four cylinders, three gear, we have a mean value of 21.5. If you would like to learn more about our programming and data manipulation using the Deep package, you might have a look at our online courses because we will soon start a new course on data manipulation in R using Deep and the Tidyverse. I will put a link into the description of this video so you can find it there and then hopefully see you soon in the course. Bye-bye.